Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server and currently I am in the hub of someone's base. This is an incredible build that I've found right here. I've spent my morning roaming around the server and uh, finding loads of interesting things to check out. And I really like the architecture of this room. The block palette is awesome. Dark nether blocks mixed with the bright quartz. And then you've got these end rods lighting it all up. It's very bright and luminous and a very interesting build style. This room right here acts as a hub in the middle of this area of the nether. So if we walk through these little corners, there are like these viewing platforms where you can go and see all of the crazy stuff that people have been building. And look at the entrance up to this little area built out of nether bricks with loads of spruce leaves hanging off of it and there's an interesting place down there that we're going to check out in a future episode. There's actually a rather specific part of uh, this that I want to go and show you. Looks like they've captured a magma cube. <laughs> um, yeah, so in this room you can see there are, you know, these corners and they lead to different areas but the place we want to go is through here. And as you can see, up the top here is actually not that impressive, really, right? I mean, it's just grass and paths and end rods for now, but of course people are going to start building in these areas. There are actually signs down on the ground with some, uh, some notes of what's going to be built here. But if we go off in this direction, these paths lead to a really interesting area. So not too far in this direction, you come around and you got to jump down. There is actually a sign here and it says Grand Lava Falls. I hope there's a proper way down here as well because this is a very interesting way to get down to the area below. And there is something absolutely gorgeous going on just down here. So I'm not even sure what is the best way to show you this area because there is just so much to see. And it always feels different to move through it as opposed to flying around with the camera account. But this caught my attention. There is a pumpkin patch down here. You can even go inside the pumpkin patch. There are some rooms. This one is empty, as you just saw. A little tower over here at the back. But the pumpkin patch, such a wonderful idea. And uh, here's another one right here as well. Also looking particularly empty. Maybe this person has just uh, finished building the, the starting of this project. You know, I like the way that the pumpkins lead you down, though. That's really cool. Oh man, the details here are wonderful and it kind of looks like maybe a few people are building together really close by because then the build theme transitions here a little bit. There's a portal leading through to the overworlds and uh, then you've got this build up the top here and oh my goodness me, that's really cool. <laughs> so you find a load of cool and interesting stuff flying around in the camera account, then you walk around and check it out yourself and you start noticing all these other little bits as well. Cool, they've got a chorus farm built into this area. And down the side there, a collection of mob heads I saw. Wow, that's cool. And did I just see a player in the base as well? There's someone hanging out over here. Oh no, actually, it's just a couple of armor stands. Check out this banner design. It's like a hooded magician or something. It's got a real majestic vibe about it. As does this base, which from up here in the camera account just looks astonishing doesn't it <laughs> and the pumpkin patch that really grabs your attention wow it looks so cool and it's also different to walk around on foot i love it i love exploring this server but speaking of which let's head down this staircase and do a little bit more exploring so there's lots of interesting stuff crammed into this area together we've got what look like spruce trees that have been converted to some creepy never trees and watch where you your step, there's some sort of magma block explosion going on over here, spilling over the land. <laughs> um, some more structures hidden into the side of the netherrack, and then this bridge right here is really cool, because when you walk to the edge of it, got an interesting view of all the other stuff going on in the area, but mainly um, this little, like, villagey area down the, the bottom here. There's some horses under these buildings, there's crop patches, it all looks ever so cool, and it's loaded with detail. There's like a arm of a like, lava kraken <laughs> reaching out over here. In fact, kind of looks like those might be eyes on a lava kraken. Yeah, let's check this out from another angle. You know what? I think this is a lava kraken, but I think that there's two of them. Uh, they kind of look like eyes to me when you're down here, and then there's an arm on the left and the right. And over on this side, you've got something similar going on as well. A pair of eyes and uh, another arm reaching out of the water. <laughs> Feels great to walk through here and see it on foot. There also appears to be a boat of all things in this area. You know, made out of woods. That's that's the type of boat I make to go through lava lakes, you know. 
Uh, but we should wrap up our little adventure here. We, we've got some other things to do besides exploring. And the subway is here. Bam! There are subway spots all over this server. It is super convenient to get around. Well, this is a place that the subway doesn't take you to. The temporary end dimension, which is in my base for reference. And I showed this actually quite a few episodes ago and we ran into a couple of problems and then we ironed them out and then we kind of forgot about the project a little bit and eventually I've gotten around to finishing it. So if you want to go to the temporary end dimension, you wander into this portal right here and then you're in the temporary end dimension and this gets reset every week. So that means you can go exploring for end cities and stuff like that uh, real easy and then this will take you back home. So just walk into here. And by home, I mean the spawn of the server. Unfortunately, there's no way to send you back to wherever you set your spawn, like a bed. So if you do use this, you will end up in the overworld back at the spawn, where apparently someone has built a rocket. Well, it would seem that the nether portal at spawn now takes you straight down directly into the subway, which is very, very convenient. Of course, I was here just a moment ago and I showed you this map a few episodes ago it has been updated it gets more and more complex and it looks absolutely fascinating um, over here it says you are at S spawn which is right there and where do we want to go to the never central that's where roughly my base is uh, the Achacha village is there down on across the central village and you can go to town hall as well uh, this is just fantastic. I love all of the little icons as well. They are so very cool. Man, these tunnels go on for gazillions and gazillions of blocks. And they have incredible patterns uh, built all the way through them. And those patterns change up depending on where you are. But this one right here will take us to the boat racing track. So you remember a couple of episodes ago we started that project. And loads of people have jumped in. And now we have an incredible project in the Never to go and check out. It's got this info board right here, which looks cool. And then there is a service plaza over on this side. It looks like it's just the beginnings, but I believe you can come over here and perhaps claim a shop. Don't take my word for it, though. I, uh, I didn't really read the signs. I got too excited and just jumped through there. Um, we also got a stairwell to the boat tracks. This, this, you have to walk up here a fair bit, so I guess I'll see you at the top. But the design here is, is pretty cool, isn't it? Alright, alright, okay. So, you know, I, I, I knew this place would look really cool if lots of people came and got involved. But I didn't know how many people were getting involved and how amazing and incredible this place would end up looking. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. I, I've, I've lost for words, peeps. I'm lost for words. And I love how everyone's come down and connected to this pathway right here in the same style that we did. This is just... So cool. Oh, and do you know what block is super useful in a in a racing area like this? The arrow block, you can use it to direct players where to go. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, I wonder who built this one. Oh, I, I've got no idea. Whoever, whoever built that, you know, no clue at all. <laughs> oh, man, this looks so cool. There are so many different tracks for us to play. And is there a staircase now over the end here? Because I haven't seen this before. Oh, this is actually right, yes. We have seen this before, so this is the path that leads back to Town Hall. Excellent. Okay, so if I go straight ahead over here, we should find the ladders that take us all the way up to the top. And look at that view again. Look at that view. <laughs> oh man, this is superb. Ah, return boats here to send them back up. Well, I've got one with me. And boom. Uh... Wait, did it go? It's, it's actually going up. It looks like it stopped there for a moment. And someone set up a minecart elevator. Thank you for doing that. That's super useful. Look how quick we get up to the... Uh, no, I'm falling back down. This isn't quick. Okay, let's try and jump off to the side. Wonderful. Walk through the portal. And here we are in this area. Notice how it's been redecorated. Um, whoever did this, again, thank you. It looks amazing. Glass on the floor. Great idea. You can see all the tracks which are rubbing up against each other. They've got all of the colored blocks and the theme going on like I talked about in the episode. And oh, I'm just, I'm so stoked about this. But there is a little bit of a flaw with this game, something that I didn't realize. In fact, I had this vision in my head of building my own game with uh, carpets on top of the wall for ages. And the reason why I forgot is because pigmen can actually spawn 
on the ice, right? So hopefully there's just such a big open area here that it will never become a problem. But as this person sussed out, if you put down buttons on the ice, you'll stop the pigmen from spawning. You could do it with redstone as well and other redstone related uh, blocks. But yes, there are just tons and tons of tracks here. We're not going to be able to play them all in today's episode, but we are going to play a few of them, that's for sure. And, and what I'll probably do is come over here and play like one or two every episode because... I want to play them all, you know, because they look so amazing. <laughs> and anyway, if you want to get involved, all you got to do is expand the platform and then build yourself, you know, your own little offshoot on the side, which it looks like people have been doing. Um, last time I spoke to some of the players, they were saying, oh, it's filled up. I wanted to get involved and just wanted to make it clear. All you got to do is expand the area and then you can attach your own little entrance on the side. Psycho and Carp's Boat Track, this is the one that we're going to play, and uh, please be easy on me, I'm not the best boat racer there is, uh, we'll probably use video editing to do a timer starting now, bam, off we go, oh there is a little patch to slow us down, I reckon it's just ugh, easier to breeze straight through those when they're that small, okay, and then we go around a corner, right, I'm on this, I'm on this, and now we've got a choice of two things there, and one over here, oh my goodness me, let's take the one that's further away, um, maybe that means, oh goodness me, I'm so bad at this, I think playing in F5 is easier for me, I don't know why, it just is, it's because the sort of looking and steering becomes a little bit more separated, yes, let's go straight through the middle, oh my goodness me, and then drop down, and what's going on here, this way, quick oh goodness me there's a gap whoa oh <laughs> now i've gone the wrong way oh wow that was that was crazy that was hairy for a moment there okay and are we on like a totally different track now i guess this is probably the longer way out isn't it oh let's go down here let's zoom 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 and oh that's the end bam okay well i guess i'll put my time on the screen that was really fun i enjoyed that one okay now what we're gonna do is go and play another one. Oh. Subway team boat track. Well, it looks like the subway team have made a boat track. Oh, who's using their brain smarts? I'm so inquisitive. Um, <laughs> there are some scores up the top here. That's, well, there's one score. There'll be a book coming soon, apparently. Oh, man. I, I, there's no way I'm going to do good at this. I, I know I'm terrible at racing the boats. Right. Uh, the timer on my screen will start right about now. Bam. Straight ahead. And then there's a hole on the right-hand side. Uh, must go into F5 mode. Must actually go down the hole. Bam. Right. Uh, have we got multiple choice here? There's just a pillar in the middle of the path. Oh my goodness me, there is stuff slowing me down. And then we do actually have like multiple choice here. Since we're closer to this one, let's go straight ahead. Bam. I see the next part of the route. It's to the right. Okay. And, uh, oh, oh, down we, that way. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this is really fun. Okay, and then, oh, I like that. There's the red route there, and it connects to this one. And what's this? What's this voodoo magic? Um, oh, no. Right, so can I go straight down the middle? Probably not. Okay, that slowed me down big time. Slowed me down big time, it did. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> uh, and... <laughs> Oh, I'm so bad at this. It looks like multiple choice again. This seems to be the quicker way since we're kind of already facing here. And the other one probably would have slung you over to the other side to the right of me. So I think we chose the good path there. Oh, this is tricky. Okay. And that's kind of lining me up nice and easy to whiz down the end here. Oh, and it looks like we picked the shorter route. And we're getting close to the end. I can feel it now. I see a giant chicken head. That's it. Oh, a good sign, I think. Um, yep, turn, 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 turn. Whiz down here. Bam, we're at the end. Cool. I like that one too, man. That was really well designed. There were some interesting things in there, like putting the end rods in the middle of the track itself. Really cool. I feel kind of inspired to uh, to build another one. Now, while we're down the bottom here, why don't we try and pick something that looks like a little bit different from the other ones? I'm not sure what one that would be. Let's go for that one over there. That one looks crazy, doesn't it? So it turns out that this is a two-lane race, the Pink Bandit Attack Track. <laughs> and Platypus Prince has given me a Chicken Mafia Shield and is also here to, to race. Um, these boats were evenly placed a second ago. I want a fair start because I know I'm going to finish last, but I would like to not have such a terrible score. Um, so, 
you choose. You choose which lane you want to go in. Yeah, there's two lanes all the way down. They wrap and weave around each other. It's seriously cool. Okay, I'm in lane number two. Let's go three, two, one, go. Bam, and we're off. Um, and I need F5 immediately. Okay, I'm in the lead. I can barely believe it. Jeez, here we go. Oh, this is very tight. This is a very tight track. Oh, let's lower that camera. Ugh. Oh, I see ya. you. You're on the blocks. You're not on the ice. This is too tight of a track, i got to say. Wow. Okay, keep keep going. Oh, <laughs> no. I'm going to get overtaken here. All right. Playing steady. I'm being smart and cautious. I'm, I'm going very slow through this track. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, I seem to be in the lead. I can barely believe it. But I'm actually in the lead. There is no sign. Oh, no, there he is. Oh, goodness me. It's getting intense. It's close now. Ah! Please fall down. Please fall down. I'm going to lose. <laughs> no. Oh. There was a moment there where things looked good. And then it all fell apart. My racing form is in need of improvement. Goodness me. Okay. <laughs> I want to get to the end with a respectable score. That's all I ask for now. That is kind of ridiculous, that angle. This one's a little too tight. I've got to be critical. It's super cool. It's super fun. But boy, are the tracks tight. And uh, I think I got thrashed there. I think Platypus Prince has been hanging around for a while, sharpening his iron sword. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you build one? He knows. He knows I know. <laughs> Let's do some trolling now. <laughs> He's got the chicken head on now. Wonderful. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> There's a warrant out for your arrest. Oh. <laughs> You'll never catch me. Where are my rockets? Quickly. Oh, no. That was such a bad idea. There he is. Get him. <laughs> now, we're going to play the Chicken Mafia track next. Oh, that was so silly. Uh, I... I, I'm so used to jumping off the edge of something to fly, and then I realised, hang on a second, it's only like a one block gap, and then there's lava. Well, that was that was a derp right there. Anyway, let's look for a giant chicken face. My friends, I believe I found the giant chicken face. Let's play this one then. Uh, there's a book for scores called. Some people have played it and put down their times. And boats, of course. Yes. Right. So, I shall start the timer right about now. Bam! And we're off. Straight down into the hole, please. Very good. Press F5. That's always helpful for me. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cruise along there. That's what I am going to do. Bam. Nice. I think sometimes playing a little bit slow lets you make the better turns, you know. Uh, let's just go straight ahead because we're here. Uh, I can't get through a one block gap. That was really bad. <laughs> kind of figured that out as I was heading towards it. Let's take the shorter, well, what I believed was the shorter turn. Goodness me, that's tight. And then forward and around and down and turn. This is good. I feel like we're going to get a good score on this one. Ah, we saw that bit earlier, didn't we? Cool. Um, I'm going to take the right hand lane. Oh, no, there's more up ahead. Well, let's just go straight over that. Bam. And then through here. There's glass in the middle. Um, this looks tricky to navigate. Okay, no, we got it. We got it. We got it good. We're going through here. There's no dead ends. But look, oh, jeez. Okay, I had to use a little bit of reverse there. I know the camera kind of pops in and out when certain blocks sort of end up behind me. What is the lava about? Oh, no, I've been set on fire. Oh, jeez, that's wonderful. I had no idea you could do that. I hope it doesn't damage the boat, though. Oh, so got so oh no, it gets even more difficult now. Uh, no, I'm toast. Okay, I, I don't know what the rules are, but I'm just going to put my boat straight back on uh, the ground. Each time it's toast. Oh, no, reverse. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Crazy challenge. Oh, because there's so, so little friction. You just keep slipping and sliding. Um, so... Oh, goodness me. What is the strategy here? That way. Then that way. No. Uh, reverse. <laughs> this is... I'm really bad at this, by the way, peeps. I'm really bad at this. I won't lie. Okay, I'm getting a terrible score. I know it. Let's put the, uh, the boat back down. And shimmy on out of here. This is one of the longer ones that we've played so far. 
goodness me, it's tricky. Wasn't someone's time that I saw there a minute and seven seconds? I mean, some other peeps are just pros at this. And I'm just a derp, I guess. Right. Uh, that's a dead end. Got to go around those two. Okay. There's more. It never ends, peeps. It feels like we're getting near the end, though. And there's pigmen on the tracks. Those pigmen are going to get in the way, I tell you. Ah, there's the end. The end is in sight. Come on, let's sprint down to the finish. And there we go. It's probably an appalling time. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Congrats, you did it. Toughest one yet. Yeah, I think that is the... Uh, hi, Fruity. <laughs> That's definitely the toughest one yet. So that concludes our ice boat racing for this episode. We'll be doing more of that in the future. And this place right here may look familiar to you. It may not. A couple of episodes ago, I announced that we were doing a competition for the creation of different types of weapons and swords. And the turnout for that has been absolutely astounding. We have a world here full of all sorts of crazy different weapon and sword designs that are just absolutely wonderful to roam around and look at all the cool things that people have created so much so that it's inspired us to add so much more to the game than we thought we were going to originally we were looking at getting a couple of swords designs so we could throw them in for boss battle drops and now we're thinking of actually creating tons of advancements and achievements that you can unlock and then get yourself some of these uh, custom swords. This one, for example, definitely going to be in the game. That's the Ender Sword right there. And I reckon you'll get that one from perhaps killing thousands and thousands of Endermen. And eventually there'll be an advancement that you can unlock. And bam, you'll have yourself a sword. So that's what we're going to be doing now. And that means we're going to be adding tons of cool challenges to the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. That will allow the players to come and try and get their hands on some custom um, swords and weapons and oh my goodness me there is so much amazingness to see in this world like the other competition worlds eventually this will be opened up again you'll be able to fly around in game mode free and check these out for yourself but all over the place there are loads of gems interesting designs comical ones as well that's an amazing looking blade right there and there are some humorous ones here and there as well I've seen one that's me holding a sword in fact I, I kind of need to show you it Yes, along with a Swiss army knife, there is a mini-me holding a sword. That one is definitely going into the game because it is hilarious. And again, loads of fascinating and interesting designs around here. Thank you to everyone who played. As of right now, we don't know who the winners are yet. We'll be announcing those soon on Twitter, in the Discord channel. I'll be announcing it in these videos, of course. So thank you again for participating. And uh, yeah, I guess we're going to see a lot of cool stuff added to the game real soon. Well, you should know by now what time it is for. It's the hashtag my question. As always, you can go to the comments down below. Hashtag my question to put your one. And this one right here, number 24, by Thomas Sheepstra, is a cool question. I like it. Can you put all the hashtag my questions in the town hall library? The answer is yes. And actually, I think that would be a really cool place to go and put them. So when I next feel like creative and I want to do a little bit of building and design a room and stuff like that, Maybe I can find a space over there to go and put those books. But anyway, that is going to be it from me this episode. If you have enjoyed it, then leave a like. And I'll see you soon with another episode of Let's Play Minecraft Together. So ciao for now. Bye-bye.